Or, I think, uh, what we, we talked about last week a bit about how they're opening up this new joint cinematic universe, which really we've had for, geez, almost 20 years with the whole uh, Batman anime series on through the Justice League and some more recent movies. Um, so, uh, uh, Mike, well, what were your thoughts? I, I, I know you were worried about going in. You aren't a fan of the source material, which was the uh, original uh, Jim Lee run of Justice League with the new 52 here, uh, first six epi- uh, issues. Um, I was a fan of it. Uh, what, what, what did you, how did you think it interpret? Um, it wasn't, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Mm-hmm. It, like the animation looked really good. Uh, the some of the personifications I thought were a little off, like Wonder Woman, for instance. Yes, <laughs> she was <laughs> she was kind of tough to deal with like, there. Like I don't get how it's so difficult to bring Wonder Woman to a screen mm-hmm. at all. Like it's almost like. DC doesn't know what Wonder Woman is. Like the only Wonder Woman piece of comic material that I've been interested in the past twenty years has been the um, the her appearance in the Smallville comics. Mm-hmm. Like other than that, like the Wonder Woman in actually the Wonder Woman in the Bruce Tim uh, cartoons that was that was a good Wonder Woman too. Yeah, just Justice League, I think, did it. I thought the movie, the the straight-to-video movie they did a few years ago was, was all right. You know, nothing terribly exciting. Um, but, you know, it was in line with everything else they were doing at the time. Um, I, yeah, but I enjoyed this. I, I It was weird, I know, because we're kind of stepping back, and it's when the Justice League first meets. Uh, there's a lot of fun kind of banner between, like, Batman and Green Lantern. Like, so what do you do? Because I think all these people were aware... Like, Green Lantern is aware of Superman, is aware of Batman and everything. They've all heard about each other on the news, but they, this is the first time they actually ran into each other and kind of seeing that that, that happen. It, it w- was pretty cool, and, it, and I, I really think there was a lot of really fun dialogue and there was a lot of action. So I think it delivered on that. It's no Under the Red Hood. It's no Dark Knight Returns or anything like that. But the, the comic itself was a fight fest, so, mm-hmm. so why not, right? Um so, so for what it is and for what I was trying to establish, I'm a big fan of it. I'm looking forward to uh, Son of Batman. Son of Batman looks amazing. Mm-hmm. Son of Batman, Ooh, I, I, they, had, um, they had a, a preview for it on the DVD, and it looks really, really good. Like The only thing about um, the New 52 that I have liked is Damian Wayne. Yeah. Damian Wayne is just a really fun character. It's yes. almost like if... Like if Batman just completely embraced killing. Yeah, I mean, for those who don't know, the son of Batman storylines. Basically, we find out he has a kid, um, uh, Tatalia, Rosh Al Ghul's daughter. Um, for those familiar with various continuities, uh, and he's been pretty much raised to be an assassin. I think. Um, mm-hmm. I, I never read like I never read this particular storyline. I've always read like later stuff. So. So yeah, I, he, uh, I think in the I think in the version that's coming out in the spring, he was taught by Deathstroke and Rachel Ghoul. Awesome.